Welcome back to Tyranny. So, I've made my way to Stone Down Gorge. Time to talk to Hunter Blood again. Tell her I was successful in killing the Earth Shakers. Turns the tribe dead. Means Earth mystics are dead. The situation has been handled. The beast woman settles on her haunches. She plucks a bug from her mane, examines it idly, then squashes it between thumb and forefinger. Hurry, human, she rumbles. Speak. I've slain the earth shakers who were troubling your tribe. Human smells of elder teeth stealers' deaths smells good. She licks her teeth and upper lip. Pleases Prima, can beg favor from tribe. What would human have from hunter blood? I would like you to meet with the voices of Narath. Hundred blood prima to stone stars, free beast woman and mystic of many moons does not answer to cry of humans, especially humans who reek of rotten lies. Well, I didn't really want her to meet voices of no rat. I'm not totally opposed to it. I would have just rather gotten passage, but it didn't really give me a choice. I assisted your shroud, Prima. You owe me. She grunts her unwilling assent. Human comes from strange pack of blood berserker alphas ruled by insatiable lust for chaos. But Hundred Blood can no longer deny Chorus's strength. We'll go. We'll speak with human alpha called Voices of No Rat. I wonder if he's going to put her on a fight too. She bobs her massive head and flexes her broad, muscular shoulders. We'll assess Archon's strength with own eyes and rending teeth and claws. Careful, beast woman. Keep your eyes open and your eye keep your ears open and your eyes keen when dealing with the Archon. She snorts, scratching the bridge of her snout with gnarled fingers. Never spent a lot of time with beasts outside of the gangs, but there's something these ladies that strike a, there's something about these ladies that strikes a good chord. Yeah, I like them too. So now I can go to uh, the place where Karen's body is, and the other spire, Howling Rock. But before I do, there's some named um, beast men and beast woman here that I'd like to talk to now that I've gained favor with their tribe. Like Riff Day. Cannot yet now have to dig deeper hole before sun sleeps. Okay, maybe not. Stone Lord and I've already talked to. I suppose I could talk to him again. What else is there? Black Maw. Human! The creature wrinkles her broad gray nose in disgust. Speak or leave beast woman be. What's with the whelps? Our Black Maws, the beast woman growls. Her dark tone and mixture of both warning and pride are strong, good whelps, smart cubs, have grown big, but are only two seasons old. It's near, it's early for whelps to leave brood hole and roam loose, but Prima needed to den, den cage, 
than to cage humans who hunted elder teeth. Why do the stone stalkers care about these elder teeth? Elder teeth are strength of stone stalkers. Humans invaded territory, claimed to hunt rocks called Asher, but were spotted stealing elder teeth. Now lying humans must suffer. Rude Hall. Actually, never mind, I don't want to know. The beast woman tilts her head sideways, interested in your reaction, but unable to comprehend it. It's whole where brute are kept. That's pretty straightforward. How did the Stone Stalker tribe come to live in Azure? Humans newly makes no sense. Come to live, have always lived. Stone lands have belonged to Beast Women from ancient seasons, even when Beast Women were blunt clawed, no fang, and hairless like humans. Azure lands belong to Stone Stalkers. And stone stalkers belong to Hundred Blood, has led tribe to many, many seasons since Beast Woman tore out throat and ate heart of last prime. The Beast Woman swells with pride. She rubs at the center of her chest with gnarled, curled under fingers. How many as many seasons? How old is Hundred Blood? More than Five, more than five many times again, mystics count, have decreed many and hundred seasons of blood. So if I challenge and defeat hundred blood, the tribe would be okay with that. The beast woman chortles and bobs, the sound disturbing like a rabid hyena. Clearly your words have provoked her amusement. No human can survive fight with hundred blood. No human can be prima to stone stalkers. She cackles the disturbing high-low warble. That hyena howl once again. Please try. Please, please. Try to enjoy watching Fate Finder die. I don't know if I can now that I've sent her over to Marat, but I can try. She's sober suddenly, lip curled and snarl. But even a human does not die. Even a blunt claw could best punch it, blood. Tribe would never allow human to be prima. Stone stalkers will not submit the kip of those who once enslaved the tribe. As you approach, a hunched elderly beast woman digs furtively at the ground. She startles at the sound of your footfall and rears up, clutching a gleaming shard of ash over to her chest. The Mystic Bee speaks for soil, communes only with stone stalkers and tribe lands, and human is neither tribe mate nor rock. Okay. Well, out of curiosity, if uh, Hundred Blood is still here, and she is. Let me see if I can challenge her. Okay, doesn't look like it. Oh, that's fine. Howling Rock is open to me now, so. I can go there and uh, deal with Cairn and presumably end the Edict of Stone. How's it coming with the Stone Stalkers, boss? We conscripting or killing them to get to Howling Rock? Uh, neither. And can you guess which I hope it'll be? Okay. Fine then.
Still not sure how I'm going to kill Karen, but I'll figure out something. Get some more energy on that. Thank you. You didn't see nothing. That Karen right there. Oh wow, he's huge. Body of Earth Archon still rumbles and moans, but looks carved from stone. Is huge and powerful even now. Can understand why tribe likes mystic called Cairn. Anything for Alpha to kill in shadow. Moving cautiously. Good thing I keep a torsion wrench handy. Herbalist Smiths, huh? Sigil of life plus tech control life. Ooh, that would be useful for me because I'm the primary healer. How are these compared to what I'm wearing? Um, well, they're not nearly as good armor. But man, I like that sigil of life effect. I think it might be worth all this. Um, I'll use it. And what else we got? Company supplies, blood months. Woman cannot do as Alpha wants. Boy, some of these bridges are pretty precarious. That almost looks like a staircase. Well, for somebody much taller than me. Now right, we got Scarlet Chorus. No need to be sneaky sneaky then, since uh, there's Octave, so he made it there himself. I guess he figured out I got permission to come over here. The sweaty dirt street. Thug waves you close, voice low as he speaks. Thanks to you, boss, we made it to Howling Rock. But there's still one hitch. He nods his head towards the heavily fortified compound to the south. The Earthshakers are holed up snugger than a Fox family in winter. Me and the gang can't find a single path in. I'm thinking they've collapsed the stone bridges connecting this canyon. His, he licks chapped bloodless lips, eyes scanning the distance as he thinks. Finally, he sighs. I'm at a loss on this one, boss. Maybe you can spot something we've missed. Of course, I'm always here to do the job. I mean, why not just walk around this way and then jump down? Is this a gap or is this just up higher? Have your scouts seen. Best be aware there's been some unsettling activity. Both Postule and Bloody Marrow have seen the Earthshakers pitching their stabs around the camp. I think they're gearing up for some big ritual. The Earthshakers are going to perform a ritual. To what purpose? Whatever it is, I can tell you it won't be it won't be to revitalize this realm. The Edict of Stone is hurting the chorus far worse than the disfavor. He spits a gob of vagrant's char on the ground. Maybe they found a way to heal Karen and ensure the Edict never ends. Or maybe they found a way to fuck us even worse than we already are. The 
doesn't matter what they're planning, they won't get a chance to complete the ritual. I agree. We got them swift and rough. We breach the camp, take them out, and stop out that their pissing ritual before it can bite us in the ass. I'll talk to one of the guards on duty, see if I can trick them into letting me into the fort. Worth a try, I guess. But I won't be waiting with bated breath. Just don't give us away, boss. Uh, not that you won't. Not that you would. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Let me do a little sweep of the perimeter. Fast, fast, silent. Best hunter. All sneaky like. Azure Lift Crystals are a resource for the Earthshaker's powers. Their essence, once harvested, may be used by the mages to bolster their abilities. I imagine the Azure Lift Crystal I've been collecting would probably serve me for something if I was uh, siding with the Disfavor. Seeing as I'm siding with the Scarlet Horse, I don't know if it's going to do anything for me, but I can always sell it, I suppose. Nothing else I get. Uh, plus to um, athletics. Um, sometimes I do from picking it, since it's a skill check. See right here, I can jump down. That's easy enough. But before I do, I kind of want to see what's down here. Like I was saying, just jump down here. They're like, oh, there's no way to get in here. I'm like, really? There's, like, just jump down the cliff. I mean, shit, it's not that tall. I might twist an ankle, but come on, man. Don't be a pussy. What's over here? I could probably try to squeeze through the gate. So there's multiple ways in. Man, these guys gave up really easily. There's no way in, really? There's lots of ways in. Swing of insight. This camp is typical of Stone Sea explorers, many travelers from all corners of the tiers in search of unclaimed treasures from the now defunct Kingdom of Azure. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something here. Would you take a look at that? There we go. Ooh, it's a sigil. Sigil of bounding bo bolts. Sweet. I'll take it.
so I can go through here. You didn't see nothing. Oh, I can peek through, that's it. This dense wall combined with the steep drop in the camp serves as an effective barrier. While not scalable, you do notice a small hole between two of the logs. So I woke up in the middle of the night and this beast woman was standing over my bedroom. Before I could call out, she sprayed me, covered, my, covered me head to toe with some foul-smelling musk. Urine, maybe? I had to burn a uniform. That's quite a story. So a, a, a beast woman pissed on you. The earth shaker clears her throat. How's the Gulf Glow excavation coming along? Any word from ba Basilon? You're not gonna get any word. No, not even a missive. And they've yet to return. Hmm, I wonder why is that? Why that happened? Hmm. You have slang with me. I doubt they're doing anything but taking their fine time, considering who's leading them. Aye, in his mind, I suppose there's nothing pressing about the ritual we're to commence. He'd be lucky if I don't wring his gangly neck upon their re return with the load stones. Master Radix only chosen because a staff is fitted with pure azure wood, but the fool's as likely to lose it as anything. What are we going to do if someone uses it to get into the compound? Oh. Oh. So it's like a keystone, huh? Ooh. A beast. Or a chorus chanter. Don't be ridiculous. A shoe scuffs in the dirt. You asked. The conversation continues, but the voices fade into obscurity as the pair walk away from the wall. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. That might be very useful. Beast woman is fast, fast, silent. Best hunter. There's a large gap between stone islands here. Too far for anyone but a beastman to make the leap. Well, I have a beast one with me. Far below you, a large boulder is suspended over an immense drop that tapers off into complete darkness. Okay, so I can't just jump down here. Oh, dicks. No, there's gotta be a way here. and you miss it. Oh, it's the answers for the ones I gave before. Dear Muriel, the unyielding, your sum summation of the is most fascinating. Thank you for sharing. You are certainly not the first to proclaim an edict. Many of us have been used to complete the casting of the Overlord's magic. And you aren't the first to break an edict, though the list of names is smaller. More exclusive list. What's curious though, living in recorded memory make no mention of someone who proclaimed and shattered the same edict. In that regard, you are an anomaly. Bad news is, the Archon knows this and will be suspicious of this distinction. Along with this parchment, I have included the contact information of the Honorable Fate Binder, my office. An old peer of mine, perhaps the most knowledgeable in the court of matters, not taught to us by Tuna. Treat her with respect and she will not betray your confidence. Best of luck, Muriel the Unyielding. I think you're about to get, I think things are about to get even stranger for you. Muriel the Unyielding, excellent. We await your return.
got to be a way down there. Are the preparations done? They are. We set out shortly after nightfall. That gives us a, a fighting chance of avoiding the beasts or anyone else who wants to get in the way. When will you return? Not until morning, I expect. speak to Octave. Okay, so the option to get in there won't even appear until I talk to him. Okay. The Earthshakers manipulate the terrain to both prohibit and allow access to the compound. I might be able to accomplish the same using the Shard of Pure Azure Lift. If any object could move mountains, it'd be that, yeah. Best we get our hands on it by any means necessary, eh? Already got it, man. I'm like 12 steps ahead of you. I've seen Earthshakers leaving the compound on night expeditions. Thinning up the ranks. Don't know what they're looking for in the darkness, but there could be an advantage in it for us. Eh, I'll tell him that. I already have the shot. With a decisive nod, Octave hacks a brackish gob of spit onto the ground. Let us know when you flitch the shard from the Earthshakers. I have it. What are we waiting for then? Let's go, boss. Me and the gang are ready to rip the Earthshakers to ribbons. Once we've crushed Cairn, we'll be local legends. We attack under the cover of nightfall. Lead on and lay and lay us the way in, boss. We'll be in your wake. He gives you a mock salute, grinning with excitement and surging thirst for bloodshed. Cuts a trail of body parts to follow in case we lag too far behind. Sweet. Alright, so I could probably move that rock from here. There we go. Why are... Why are the rest of you running here? What the... Uh, well, at least it's uh, kills and shadow in front. Someone that I would want in front anyway. What in Karen's name? Earthshakers to arms! We've been breached! Yes, you have. Yes, you have. All right. Another demonstration of our power seems in order. There nothing. Whoa. Hey, Scarlet Chorus, why aren't you attacking? The way is open. Come on, guys, don't just stand there. Try something else. Oh, fine, fine. I'll kill them all myself. your back, boss. I can already taste victory. Really? You've got my back by just standing there. Man. What a bunch of pussies. On the 
the lookout. Fine, fine. I'll slaughter everybody myself, just like I always do. There they go. Now they run in. About freaking time. They're not even going forward yet. Let me, let me buff myself up. Shakers mean to defend the final resting place of Karen to the death. Weapons, supplies, and resources have been brought in to sustain these soldiers at this camp. Doesn't doesn't seem to be doing them much good right now. They got resources. And they got holes and claw marks through their bodies. Corpses, I should say. Scarlet Chorus Twerps are freaking useless. I'm literally doing this all myself. Fine, fine. And now these are the big baddies. Radix. And this Earthshaker. And another Earthshaker. Sweet. I better uh, buff up before I go ahead and murder them.
Come at me, grave meat. Fate Binder, the mountain of a man clad from head to heel in dark iron armor, takes a heavy, climbing step forward. How dare you bring your chaos and filth to my fort and my archive. I will not permit you to take a single step closer to Kaelin. Well, you're welcome to try and stop me. He readies his staff, shoulders squared for combat. And did you think the earth would not tell me how it drank upon my baby brother's spilled blood? I have a personal hex in store for you, one that's going to torment you for an exceedingly unending time. Rest assured, you will so soon join him in death. I've had it. This well-spoken shit heel needs to die. Hey, me and you are on the same page here, Verse. That's exactly what I'm thinking. He heaves the ground with a single strike of his staff. He steps closer, trembling as violently as the earth around him. I will destroy you for what you have done, he seeks. I will crush you into grit. I will bury you from beneath. I will bury you beneath the bottom of the azurous tectonic plate and blot your name from history, fate binder. Awfully brave words for a person who's gonna be dead in a matter of seconds. Ah, oh, this is pretty well lined up for. Uh, get her old here. Now we unleash this here fulmination in this direction. studious hand. Ash wants us to move forward with our plan to use Cairn's remaining energy to blight the land. No crops will grow here again. The chorus will starve, and thus they'll be forced to retreat from their storm stronghold. Well, too bad that didn't work out, huh? Ooh, Tunan's gonna want to hear about this. Well, he's gonna be too happy.
Did I just kill Karen? Sweet. And I broke another edict. Because I'm a badass. As the ground beneath your feet settles, finally, into a blissful calm, a feeling of lightness and vitality burbles through your veins. The edict of stone has ceased, and with the dissipation of its powerful draining force, the world feels once again alive with arcane energy and currents of magic. I hope this means the end of the earthquakes. I already slept with one eye open and don't appreciate surprises. The most populous valley of the tears has been shattered and befouled, and for what? To punish one traitor? Well, today the Edict of Stone is no more. Let us hope the realm and its people might now begin to heal. Yes, the people of the valley. My people. I, I mean, uh, Kairos. Yeah. Can feel. Stone lands are healing. Kills in shadow. Takes a scraping of dirt and rubs it between your dark, gangly fingers. New growth. Life. Food. Blood pulse of land is returning. The words of the edict pounds through your skull with the sort of clarity that usually comes from days of practice and repetition. It would seem that the edict of stone is now a part of you. Sweet. And that's the entrance to the spire. Nice. Nice. Let's see if there's stuff for me to loop. So that would be swell. I'd say that's worth a second glance. Where? I heard the sound, but... I found something. Oh, right there. I'll take it. Thanks to you, I get to live another day, boss. He grins a wide, jagged toothed smile as he tips a goatskin flask to you in celebration. Edict's cracked, which means we're free to reseed the land, which means miserably be happy enough for once, now that the voices won't be feeling hungry enough to eat us both for breakfast. Hmm? He takes a long, thirsty swig, dribbling liquid down his chin. Careful when you see the big boss, eh? Even when he's in a chipper mood, you never quite know what he's like to do. What he's like. I read it right the first time. Yeah, don't worry. I'll still be careful about around Voices of the Rat. But at this point, maybe Voices of the Rat needs to be careful around me. So I'm uh, picking up an awful lot of power here. The thing is, I just can't believe is how the backlash from their own damned ritual actually did the stone bastards in. He laughs, the sound building steadily towards hysteria, but then he cuts it short with another swig, accidentally choking himself on the swallow. Snatch the flask when we finish up. That's what I'm talking about. That's how I roll. Watching you gulp down the last of his brew, he rubs two dirty fingers together, then dips into his pocket for some fresh chaw. If your assailant bothers him, he smartly doesn't mention it. You never do cease to surprise me, boss. Speaking of, my gal Postule told me a little tidbit you might like. Seems there's still some residual energy lingering in Cairn's remains. You should consider taking a piece of him with you when you leave Howling Rock. If nothing else, it'd make for an impressive trophy. Thanks. I'll snag a piece of Cairn before I inform the rat of our success in breaking the edict. If you're going to be given a report to the voices, feel free to name drop me, boss. Me and the gang were pretty instrumental to the cause, wouldn't you say? Uh, 
Not really. I did pretty much 98% of the work. <laughs> but whatever. With a final rasping law, he waves you off. I mean, the most good you did is let me have the, well, didn't really let me have it. I kind of just grabbed it myself. The rest of that uh, alcohol you have. Yeah. All right, so can I, oh, I can chip off a little piece of can there. Hey, buddy, you won't mind if I snag a piece of you, right? Oh, I get to choose which one. Right hand fragment, eye fragment. Okay, so each one will... Re His quickness. Okay, I will be... Hmm, not sure. Head will be wits, okay. Beast woman cannot do as Alpha wants. Arms is what might. This would be um, what, vitality, but not all of these. Do all of these say that it, removing them will? Yeah. Um, so let's see, quickness. I probably want to go with quickness, actually. Uh, Woods wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, actually. This one is resolve, okay. This is wits. I'll take wits. Thank you. So that, did that give me a bonus to wits? Ah, it did. Oh no, I get the bonus from Silent Archive. Oh, there is a piece. Oh, it's an oh, it's an accessory. Plus two wits. And this one, plus that control force. And the Silent Archive. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And bam. for me. Ah, there we go. Drug recipe. Alright. And while I'm here, I might as well claim this spire. I don't have any charcoal rubbings though. Oh, first one at the level two. Sweet. Take the rubbing from what here. What do we have here? Uh, I found something somewhere. Brilliant really flames cast an emerald light on the walls. How did they get that color and why don't they burn it out? It's a mystery. I found something somewhere. I heard it. Let me look at this first. Though the drawn rune remains incomplete, it seems likely that the completed design is symmetrical in nature. Should the need arise, you could probably reasonably guess its original shape. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where was the thing that I found? Should be nearby. 
by. Study carefully the glyphs. They're gibberish to me, but I know magic when I see it. Was it this? Did I find that? Mm. Alright, screw it. Let's just do this. This should be symmetrical, it says. my team away so I can see what I'm doing. Yes. This looks more curved. It got, oh, it would be this thing. Okay, never mind. Let me turn these off. Then. Oh, this is the reset button, right? There we go. So what I want is right. Okay. There's lines underneath here that extend further out. Maybe it's... Yeah, it's gotta be just this, but then there's no line underneath it. Maybe it's turned sideways. I'm trying to, maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way. Upside down. No other places for me to make rubbings around here that I know of.
I'm going to give this some thought. We'll leave off here and I'll try to figure out this uh, spire, how to get to the top of this spire next time.